Understanding urea plasma odor. Urea plasma are commensal bacteria, meaning that they can exist in healthy people without causing symptoms or harming their health. It is usually harmless when living in balance with other bacteria in the body because your immune system and vaginal microbiome typically keep it in check. But urea plasma bacteria can become problematic when they're in the presence of other harmful pathogens. So research suggests that urea plasma can follow the crowd if it's alongside disruptive bacteria such as Gardnerella, Prevotella, or E. coli, it may act disruptively. Beyond that, urea plasma is considered an indicator species. That means if high amounts of urea plasma are in the vaginal microbiome, it's likely that other disruptive symptom-causing bacteria are there as well. And while there really isn't much research on urea plasma, this is where something like odor can come in. For example, if you have high amounts of ureoplasma in your vaginal microbiome and it's an indicator species, meaning that there are likely other disruptive symptom-causing bacteria in the vaginal microbiome, something like Gardnerella actually does produce an odor, specifically certain chemicals that make a strong fishy or even rotting fish-like odor. So that can be one of the reasons why you may notice an odor if you have ureoplasma in the vaginal microbiome.